An idea that I did have and that I wanted to see how you felt about was um, doing a postnuptial agreement. Something that would be protecting Dean and me in the event that this happens again. Hmm. We're going to look at that. Okay. Sure. Michael and I had a prenuptial agreement that expired after five years of marriage. If it's a show of good faith to you that I'm in this marriage for the right reasons, I have absolutely no qualms about signing this agreement. Appreciate that. Now, in the event of a divorce, I will receive 50% of our assets. And now I think it would be good for us to have a postnuptial agreement because postnup would outline things I would be guaranteed to get, no arguing, no disputing, and essentially would speed up the process in the event of a divorce. I don't really know what it would say, but so I'm glad you're open to it. I want to make sure that you're happy and I, and I look after you in the right way. Is I think that's important right now. I agree. This is happening too quick. Don't get nervous. This is exciting, guys. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, ladies. How are you, great. Great. How are you sir? You look great. You know, this is kind of like the first time my dad is around Jamal and I as we are now rekindling our flame. My dad support me. My kids are entrepreneurs. Life is good. Today, this really is a larger metaphor that creating generational wealth is achievable. And you're going to see our daughters washing dishes, and they'll be busting tables. Uh, you, you, you don't hear none of them saying amen. And I want to say thank you, Stonecrest, for the love and support. Thank you guys for coming. <laughs> We're so excited. Um, thank you guys for coming and supporting us. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so she's ready to pair you guys up with managers. So you're gonna be with the general manager, waitress. Okay, and your hostess. And then your hostess. Okay. You come with me. Okay. My girls appreciate what their father is trying to give them and instill in them. Have you all found wood trust? This isn't just about generational wealth. It's the value of hard work. If they understand the value of hard work, they'll be able to teach that to their children. Thank you. Say back up red onion. Back up red onion. Joy pressing. No, once they do come in, I OK. Know. How do you remember the table numbers? Over time, like, you're really sorry to get it. <laughs> OK. This is chicken in the pancake. Yeah, you're welcome. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. The salt pepper's that, just a little bit. OK. Do you do something different if it's, like, to go? Yeah. And you can notify Tony? Jamal, you did good. Thank you. The girls make me proud. Yes. Yeah. He's thinking, I'm not balancing the attention I give the business with the relationship. Is that the way you feel? Yes. After a while, then you sort of say, OK. <laughs> what about me over yeah, here? Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm curious yeah, about yeah. something. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you want now? What's missing? A little more attention. Also, you used to cook more. <laughs> oh, you see what I, I'm dealing I mean, with? Oh, my goodness. I, mean, I find it insulting. I mean, it is a little. <laughs> Does Ray cook? He used to. Oh, okay. When we were dating, he did. But I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying, you, you were, I didn't realize it, but think about this. You know, she's technically cooking for the kids. The kids go, then it's like, okay, there's no reason to cook anymore. I think you'd feel more appreciated if you thought somebody was making, you know, meals for you. And now she did cook the other day, so I'm delighted for that. Tell me what she cooked. Okay, so she actually put the fish in the pan. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, so okay. that nice brown sear you see, that's yes. all Karen. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's appreciated. What about my needs? What are your needs? Yes. What? Name one thing. Well, I feel like honestly, sweetie, you really don't, you don't date me. You stop planting th that love bug, you know, that reason to keep the, the fuzzy feeling. Um, I'm a passionate woman that needs to know that you're in love with me. 
Karen, kudos to you for saying that because so many people, they become roommates. They love each other, but they're not in love. Are you in love with Ray? I'm in love with Ray. How do you know you're in love with Ray? Because I can't imagine a day without Ray. I don't think of days without you either. I mean, no, no, I, no. You know, I, I, mean, I don't She asked to, me a question. I don't try to imagine. I'm going to ask you that same question. Yeah. Are you in love with Karen? I think I am.